Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Turn Cycling YouTube channel and welcome to Turn Cycling Headquarters. Today I've got an unboxing video for you and whilst we're doing that unboxing we're also going to have a little bit of a chat about power banks and charging and how to stay on top of all of that whilst you are doing an ultra race. I was having a chat with the athletes that I coached the other day on the Turn Cycling WhatsApp chat and we were talking about power banks and chargers and how to uh, best set yourself up for that when you're doing a ultra race. Uh, it came up because someone was asking a question about how to avoid running out of power when you're doing one of these things. And I think when you are looking at getting a power bank and getting a charger, it really pays to look at what is happening in the technology space here, You know what the latest developments are, what the best solution is for this kind of racing. Because there's a lot of different options out in the marketplace at the moment, and I really think it does pay to um, look at all of this stuff. But that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, but before I do, uh, let's get into the unboxing. Um, package has been delivered by Amazon today. And uh, this is a new power bank and charging device. Um, not that I really need one. Uh, don't tell Mrs. C that because she'll get angry with me. Um, not that I really need one, but um, I was looking uh, through what was available uh, on Amazon following that chat with everybody. And uh, two products really leapt out at me and made me think, hmm, yeah, I, wanna, I want to check those out because I think they'll solve a couple of um, areas that I think my setup could be improved. Now, specifically, this is the setup that I had for the two volcano sprint. Uh, what I had there was, um, wait there a second, let me get it. So on the two volcano sprint, I was using two of these uh, Anker 10,000 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, these are USB-C power delivery, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but basically they've got, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, one in, uh, one in out and one out. Uh, the in out is USB-C uh, and the output is, output only is USB-A. Uh, so two of those, 10,000 milliamp hours each. And this was the charger, which is the Mu International USB-C 45 watt charger. Now this is a superb charger. Um, packs away super small um, you can get adapters here that change it for um, change it for UK for Europe for America um, so it's powerful and uh, and small what more could you want um, except it's only got um, one charging port you probably can't focus on that come on focus um, so it's only got one charging port here so the challenge that I had was that this plugs in, can only charge one of these, and I've got two of these, and I can't charge anything else because these don't support pass-through charging either. So when I get to a hotel, I can only charge one battery at a time. Now, with uh, with a USB-C power delivery and, and these batteries, these batteries will charge at 18 watts. So you'll refill that 10,000 milliamp hours in about... Uh, three three and a half hours so you can refill one of these fully um, in a short overnight stay on an ultra race now 10,000 milliamp hours um, that's going to get me through a half a day to a day and a half depending on the state of charge of everything else now because with the other devices so there's three devices that I'm charging basically I'm charging my phone for videos to you lot I'm charging my Garmin so I know where I'm going uh, and I'm charging my Exposure Diablo Lite. Now with both the Garmin and the Exposure Lite, I do use the secondary uh, power cells, which is fantastic because it just takes a little bit of stress away from worrying about what level they're at because they've got a lot of charge. The Garmin will last 40, 45 hours um, in that setup uh, and the Diablo Lite will last pretty much the same thing. You know, I can get through two full nights on that that Diablo with the second battery cell. Um, but what I can't do with the single setup is recharge multiple things. So if you're going 
kind of two and a half, three days, four days into a race, you want to be able to recharge everything overnight. What I don't want to do is take my big Zendure battery. I don't want to take a big, massive charging brick. So let's have a look at what's in the box and I can show you how I've fixed this problem. Let's unbox, eh? I've got my unboxing knife. Um, let's see what we've got in here. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Okay, so first off, uh, let's look at the uh, the battery charger or the wall charger, which is the Minix three port GAN wall charger. Now, GAN stands for gallium nitride, gallium nitrate, something like that, um, which basically newer technology, which makes for much, much smaller charging blocks than the old silicon ones. Obviously, a lot better for us because they take up less space. That's the most important thing is the space they take up. Um, now, this one, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Are you going to focus? Yeah. Where this scores over the Mew one that I'm using at the moment is it has three output ports. And not only three output ports, but it also works at 66 watts. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, the second thing is the Orkey 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Um, I'll tell you what, let's open this first, shall we? Okay, so first of all, this thing is really, really small. 10,000 milliamp hours. Um, let's just compare it to the old one. You can see quite a difference in uh, size there. Um, I'm going to go and get the weighing scales in a minute to check that out. Um, so the same as the last one, charges over USB-C power delivery at 18 watts. So again, this will recharge in about... Uh, three, three and a half hours. Um, but why get a new one, you ask, um, given that it's probably not going to be weighing too much different, not going to be saving kilograms here. This one supports pass-through charging, which basically means that when I have this plugged into the wall and it's charging through the USB-C socket, I can also plug either my light or my Garmin or my phone into the output here, which effectively gives me an extra charging socket overnight. Um, it'll get more and more interesting when we combine it with the charger here. Um, so let's open up the charger. So here we can see we've got a nice little a uh, pair of um, cases, which will be nice because we can keep all the batteries in there as well, keep them nice and scratch free. Uh, and you can see we've got the different adapters here. And don't need that. Okay, so here we've got the charger itself. Now, as you can see, it's quite compact. And what you will also see is the three outputs there. You probably won't be able to see that. Let me show it to camera B. Uh, we've got the three outputs there. So uh, we can plug that on. And there is the charger now again pretty comparable between the two but as i say this has three output ports and it outputs a total of 66 watts now again the way these things work is they'll negotiate a charging rate with every device that you plug in 
Um, so this one charges through the USB-C. So we're gonna have USB-C to USB-C. That will pull 18 watts. So take 18 off the 66, and we've still got a potential 48 watts of output on this one. What that means is then I can use a, I can use the pass through on this to charge my, uh, let's say my Garmin. I can then use the second USB-C cable here with a USB-C to Lightning to recharge my phone. And then the third output on here were, and yeah, and the phone will charge at 18 watts, um, same as the battery, which 18 and 18, 36, so that still leaves me with another 30 watts available. So um, I can then plug in my Garmin into the USB-A port. Um, the Garmin will charge at 12 watts. So plenty of spare capacity, um, or plenty of spare charging output. And because of the three ports on here and the pass-through on here, I'll be re able to recharge everything in about four hours, three to four hours. Now, what that means is I'm never running low on my power output through the day. What I've seen with a lot of people is they're using old chargers and old power banks and the chargers output at 12 watts. The power banks might be 20,000 uh, milliamp power batteries, but because they're gonna take 12 hours to charge, you're never able to get enough charging overnight if you're stopping for four hours, you might get 5,000 milliamp hours into that battery. And because you're then not able to charge anything else, you're gonna run low or you're constantly gonna be chasing how much power you're using each day. Kind of imagine you've got a big, big water bottle that carries 10 liters because the tap you're filling from every night will only put one liter into that water bottle every night. So you've gotta start with 10 so that you can make it to the end and still have water. It's kind of like that with very slow charging batteries. You've got to carry big batteries just to make it to the end with enough power because you can't get enough charge in overnight. Now with this setup, I think this is gonna be pretty much the perfect setup and will definitely um, do better than my old setup because I've got more ports and that will allow me to stay on top with the lights, stay on top with the Garmin, Stay on top of the iPhone, should never run out. Uh, right, now the final test of this, um, well the final for this video and the unboxing is just to check on the weight. So you wait there and I am gonna go and get the weighing scales. Okay, let's start with, uh, with the old battery. got 197 grams on the battery. And 89 grams on the charger. 197, 280. What's that, 286, 286 grams? Uh, yeah, I think so, 286 grams in total. Um, uh, to be honest, all I'm looking for is it for it to be roughly in the same ballpark. So let's put the new battery on. 183, so we've saved a whole 14 grams there. And 130 on the charger. So saved 14 on the battery, we've gained 44 on the charger. So it's a 30 gram penalty. I will take a 30 gram penalty because I'm probably only gonna have to carry one battery instead of two because I can recharge everything every night. Um, right, there we go. Um, that's all I'm gonna cover in this video. Um, if you've got any questions about how you're approaching or how you wanna approach charging, uh, what charging setup do you use? Uh, do you not use batteries and do you use a dynamo? Um, do you think a, a setup like this uh, would be good for your um, charging needs during an ultra race leave some comments below let me know what you think uh, and um, if you like this video click the subscribe button click the like button so i can keep doing more of these uh, and hopefully later in the season after i've done a couple of races uh, we can come back and i'll tell you how this has been getting on uh, right i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, catch you all later bye
Right, it's the next day, so just a quick update on that because uh, what I wanted to do was test out the pass-through charging because that was the main reason for changing to this battery. Um, so I plugged uh, the battery into the wall. Uh, battery came like about 30% charged, so uh, that needed quite a bit charging up. Uh, and I got my um, spare cell for the, uh, the Garmin, which is here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, so spare cell for the Garmin, uh, plug them both in uh, using the, uh, the the Minix charger uh, and yeah, all worked exactly as it was supposed to. Um, the Garmin was probably on one light when it was plugged in, that was on one light. Uh, three hours later, three and a half, four hours later, they were all fully charged or they're both fully charged. I didn't need to go in and plug anything out, plug anything in. I could just plug them all in, forget about it, and walk away. So, and that's exactly what um, what I want to be able to do with this: plug it in, uh, go to sleep overnight, and wake up to find everything charged. So, yeah, first impressions are this is really going to deliver uh, what I want. Really, really pleased. Um, definitely, these come highly recommended. Um, but I will give you an update later on in the season. Right, thanks for listening everybody. I will catch you all later. Cheers.